I'm gonna share with you new settings to reduce flickering when using black frame insertion at 60 hertz, 60 frames per second. So I was playing this game Uncharted using native HDR with this new trick that I was sharing with you. But I always go back to black frame insertion because on this game I cannot get 100 to 120 frames per second. So I was getting 80, 85, eh, it's too blurry. <laughs> I want to enjoy the smoothness. So what I do in those cases is I much rather have a lock 60 with Motion Pro High because that's going to give me 120 motion clarity all the time, no matter what's going on on the game. And this game especially, it feels so responsive. The engine is extremely responsive. So when you're aiming and shooting, it's just perfect. So I was using black from insertion here. I come to this level and wow, <laughs> this is so bright. It's bright everywhere. And the weight, and it looks amazing, but it's so, like most of the screen is white. So that's where you see the flickering with black from insertion. So what I was using uh, for black frame insertion was this trick that I shared with you, which is the SDR HDR trick. So basically you come here, you turn on HDR, you know, system display HDR, you turn it on, you max out this uh, slider. Okay. Then you just turn on black frame insertions. You come here to game optimizer mode. So we are PC mode, game optimizer mode, and you come here, all at motion pro high. Okay. You lock the frame rate to 60 using uh, MSI Afterburner and you know, Riva Turner. And then you have 60 Hertz, you have 60 frames per second. And what I'm using in this game is the NVIDIA Deep Learning Super Resolution in combination with DLSS performance. So I get 1440p with a lot you know, nicer sharpness, 40% sharpness on the game, 33% sharpness on uh, DLSS on NVIDIA Deep Learning Super Resolution. So then we have to come here and we have to lower the black level of the TV. We have to lower this uh, screen brightness and the value is 46. So we have to lower screen brightness to 46 and force limited on the TV. So this is what I was doing. This is the way I was playing. And I'm going to share with you the new settings, which you already see <laughs> what I was using now. So this, this is the settings that I, wa I was using for black frame insertion. So HGIG, this SDR, HDR slider, forcing limited and screen brightness 46. And this looks fantastic. Okay, this looks absolutely amazing. But the problem is because we are pushing so much brightness, it's up to 400 nits with Motion Pro High, 400 nits. <laughs> So, of course, not on the entire screen and on the peak brightness. And you look at the sun, you look at very bright objects, but that increases the flickering. So I was thinking, how can I get less flickering? Well, I, I need less brightness, but I don't want to affect the brightness for the mid-tones because the problem with black frame insertion is that it looks too dim. Okay, so how can I get the same brightness for the mid-tones and the same visibility for the near black details, but only reduce the, the whites. One thing you can do is you can come here to game optimizer mode and reduce uh, and ut utilize this white stabilizer. So you can increase this white stabilizer and this is going to reduce the flickering, but it is going to affect the picture quality in a way that I don't like it. I was trying it, comparing it and no, this is not the best option. So what I did is this. I just come here. Instead of forcing limited, I'm going to keep the TV in full. So when you force limited, you are also making the highlights brighter. We are on SDR, so we, it's not really highlights, but you get what I'm. You understand what I'm saying? Basically, the bright uh, objects. You're making it brighter because limited is expanding the the range. Okay. But what I'm doing instead is I'm reducing this to 41 and I'm going to explain you how you can figure out this value. If you have a different uh, OLED, uh, I'm going to share with you how you can set up exactly the black level for your TV. So this is what I'm doing. 
basically full on the GPU, full range on the GPU, full on the TV. So we are right now in full range. And I am reducing the black level to 41, which is the correct value to get the same near black visibility that I was getting. And with this option for 60 hertz, 60 frames per second, if I'm going to use 100 or 120, I'm going back to my settings because my settings are more, uh, the previous settings that I share with you are more HDR like, you know, they are more spectacular, up to 400 nits with uh, this Motion Pro High. So, but, but for 60, this is better because now we are reducing, like a, in 100 nits I measured, we are reducing the, the brightest uh, objects in about 100 nits. So now instead of being 400, they are like 290 up to 300. So you get less flickering and the picture quality is still phenomenal. So the visibility for the near black is exactly the same. Again, I'm going to share with you how you can find the value of your TV if you have a different TV and you want to use this SDR HDR slider trick. So the near black visibility is the same. The mid tones are the same, but now I get less flickering because this is less bright. Okay. I still get flickering. Okay. But it's a lot less noticeable. Now, do you really want to reduce the flickering as much as you can? And you don't care about affecting the picture quality because you are really bothered with the flicker. So you cannot use it anyway. You can increase this white stabilizer to 20 and that's going to greatly reduce the flicker even more. But the picture quality is not, it's not as good because this is going to wash out the highlights. If that makes any sense, because we are on SDR and the highlights don't really get washed, washed out. <laughs> but yes, this is the equivalent of washing out the highlights instead of, you know, we, we can clearly see. Uh, the picture being washed out near black because you see that black level rays and the colors are washed out but this is the equivalent of doing that on the highlights so i would not recommend it but you can try it the setting is there for a reason so if i am going to use 100 or 120 i'm, I'm going back to the previous settings because it's a lot better another thing you can do before i jump uh, another thing you can do is you can use instead of HGIG, you can use dynamic tone mapping off. Okay. But again, that's going to affect the picture quality a lot, a lot because yeah, it is, <laughs> it is not going to look as good, but if you're really want to get rid of the flickering as much as possible, but still keep the same visibility, use tone mapping off. And on top of that, <laughs> increase that white uh, stabilizer that's not gonna look good in my opinion um but it's going to greatly reduce the flicker like i can almost i see it because i am thinking about it and trying to look for it but yeah you're very unlikely you're gonna see flickering on any game doing this even at 60. uh but of course if you can get 100 120 that's the best there's no flickering no matter what <laughs> I mean, there is flickering, but you cannot see it. So, oh, what I was saying, I'm going to show you. So the idea that I have is I'm going to show you on the next video because I don't want to make this video too long. On the next video, I'm going to show you multiple examples of many, many games where I use black frame insertion and the frame rate targets and the settings. And yeah, and you have, I have a lot of games to show you. But before I end the video, let me share with you what I was saying, let me share with you how you can figure out this, this black level value. And then I'm going to show you the, the games on the next video. So how you can know that the, the black level, the screen brightness is the correct for your TV. If you have a Sony or a different TV, how you can know this value easy. We are going to use this near black test uh, pattern that I'm gonna share with you on the description. Again, I've shared this near black test patterns mul multiple times. This is what I use. Uh, of course, I then uh, verify the values with other test patterns just to make sure that it's correct, but it's always the same. So I, I'm very familiar with this one. Uh, 
and I got this near black test patterns from Classy Tech, uh, Classy Tech calibrations. I shared that video, the video where he he shared this near black near black test patterns, and and I'm gonna share that again. So what you have to do, let me let me do this, so you can see it better. Let me turn uh, the screen brightness all the way up, so you can see it, so I can explain you better what you want here. So let me increase this widely so you can see the the test pattern on the video okay so this is washed out but I just want you to see it so what you need to do is you turn on HDR on Windows so you turn on HDR on Windows you max out this uh, a slider you open this near black test pattern and what you're going to do is of course use HGIG if you have that option on your TV or even dynamic tone mapping whatever the option you have but if you have HGIG is, is the best looking option if you have if your TV has dynamic tone mapping it's going to push the brightness and you're going to get flickering anyway but it's gonna look fantastic but yeah we're talking about the C1 because we're talking about motion pro high so <laughs> specifically for the C1 but this is just if you want to find out Let's say you have a Panasonic or a different TV that has black frame insertion at 60 hertz, and you want to get a good, you know, brightness for that. You want to get a high enough brightness and maybe reduce the flickering if it's possible. Then you're going to open this near black test pattern, and you're going to lower that uh, black level or screen brightness, like it's called here on this. It should be called black level because this is really the black level. You're going to lower this value until you can only see on this test pattern eight columns. So you're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, it, it, all of that is going to be crushed. Okay? Everything else is going to be crushed. You only want to see for this trick. You only want to see eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the last one that is going to be visible. The rest is going to be crushed. We have to crush that. So you lower that until you crush that. And the value in this case is 41. Full on the GPU, full range on the TV, screen brightness 41, Motion Pro high. That's going to give you the perfect near black visibility for the games when doing this trick and it's going to reduce the flickering because it is less bright okay let me know if you have any questions i'm gonna show you on the next video i want to show you all the games where i am using black frame insertion which is <laughs> a lot a lot of games almost every single one and I'm going to share with you the games where I cannot use it, why I cannot use it, uh, what's the performance, what's the picture quality I'm looking for. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions.